I'm Louise Wallace. Welcome to The Café. Louise, sweetheart, I think you've got the wrong show. Yeah, I think so, Louise. You are the weakest link. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I can't, actually, actually, Louise, don't go too far, because we will catch up with you soon about the Real Housewives of Auckland. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Well, she's an actor, a television presenter, a mum and a wife, and she is definitely not the weakest link on Real Housewives of Auckland. It is so great to have you with us, Louise Wallace. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, we've had a lot of fun. It's we been have. Fun. I must say, we've got we've got a present for you back there, oh. a book. <laughs> I've, got, guide. I've already got one. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah. right. Okay. So yeah. have, okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. And I bet you you thought you wouldn't arrive here today and then would have you working in the kitchen. No, no. It's very foreign to me, I have to say. <laughs> um, I have enjoyed myself. It's oh, been good, good. good. Now you know how to make a good roast chicken. That's right. Um, I'll tell you what, I've got to say, absolutely love the show, Louise. Um, secretly, are you the ringmaster? Because you strike me as somebody that knows what's going on all the time and you, you know how to make a good TV show but also stay out of causing too many riffs. Well, <laughs> stay out of causing of, riffs. Well, I, I sort of try to do that a little bit because, yeah. you know, I do know what goes on with reality TV and I know how people can come unstuck and I've come unstuck before mm. on reality TV and so, yeah, I think with my experience it's been really, really useful. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's not to say that if somebody was driving me nuts or I genuinely really disliked somebody, I would let them know. Actually, speaking of that, you and Julie are having a few issues. I think we should take a little look at this clip, which was from uh, last week's acting workshop. <laughs> my name is Louise, and I think that you are not behaving yourself. I know what everybody should be doing. I'm really good at telling people what to do. That's good when you make your voice really low. <laughs> How low can you make it? Yeah. After a few drinks, I get really, really low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how is your relationship with Julia? It's fine. I mean, it's absolutely fine. I think the thing is that, um, as the series went on a bit further, um, you really had to discipline yourself to think, hey, don't take things personally. And don't forget that I don't know what the other... I, I obviously knew what she was saying to me in the acting workshop, but I didn't know what anybody said about me in master interviews. Mm. And you only see that uh, when it goes to air or just before we see it. Uh, wow. Have you been surprised? No, I haven't. I think I've actually been treated very fairly. Mm. And um, there's nothing that I've thought, holy crap, you know, um, that really worries me or I didn't think that would happen. Or you're, you're obviously really encouraged to let everything out and sort of be like, like you are, but more so on yeah. TV. Mm. Um, do you think everybody is ready for that sort of experience? I think so. I think people um, had watched Housewives Overseas um, series. I hadn't very much. But, um, <laughs> and they realised in a way they had to, to bring something a bit extra. Uh, my husband says that since I've been doing the show, he said, when we all get together, he says, you just shout at each other the whole time. This is just sort of a normal life. And you're far more outspoken with these women than you ever are with your other friends. And, yeah, because that's sort of how we operate together. It's weird. N now, uh, speaking of the family, you initially said no to doing this, from what I heard. Mm. Is that true? Yes. And so what made you change your mind? Um, what made me change my mind was that I was involved in the casting of it and I um, helped organise a casting session with the women. And um, even though I got all dressed up, I sort of played the dog's body and I was pouring champagne, I was running after them and oh, I, I thought, oh, holy crap. And then Gilda said to me, I was pouring champagne like an idiot holding it by the neck, the bottom, and Gilda said, don't give up your day job. You know, and, I, <laughs> and I went back home and I said to Scotty, I said, you know what, I should be drinking that champagne, not yeah. pouring it. Yeah. And I said, I think this might be quite good for me. I think it might be fun and I think it might be really good for my career. And he said, oh, stuff. He said, just go for it. Nice. So have you, So you've obviously had quite a thick skin because you've been in the media so much. Yeah. In the, in the, so this is, all this attention's not new for you. No. Are you getting noticed when you go to the supermarket? Or the, I sorry, think the designer I am, grocery but I mean, store? I have had that before and I'm very good at ignoring it. It doesn't, <laughs> I don't really care about it. Um, I'm not chasing fame or not, I'm not desperate to be famous or whatever. I just want a good career. I want my career to continue. Okay. Well into old age. No, and, and I so totally... The same I... thing is not important because I know that when this is all over, yeah. and it might already be over, who knows, we will get dropped like hot bricks mm. and all these invitations that are flying at us and free stuff at the moment, 
Nobody will want to know us, and I know that. So you have to prove yourself in other directions and other areas. Because I clearly understand why you do it, and it's great to have you back on our screens. Um, obviously, these ladies don't need the money, so why do you think they wanted to do it? I think they are probably doing it for the fame. Right. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, Gilda is doing it. She was very, very well known in Auckland circles, but not nationally, probably. Mm. And she has published her book and a children's book, and I think she wants to take that really far, right. like maybe if she could into movies and that sort of thing. Okay. So, so this so would be all amazing. Got a, they've all it's got an something. agenda there. Yeah, oh, there's totally yeah. an agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love watching you on that show. I think you know what? It is amazing. just yeah. so much fun. It's it. pretty classic. And I cannot wait oh, to see yes. what you get up to because you are definitely the ringleader. I don't care what you say, you definitely are the ringleader. It's like wheeling and dealing. So anyway, so thank you so much for joining us, Louise. It's my pleasure. It's been a pleasure and it was great seeing you in that kitchen there with your sleeves rolled up into the chicken. So don't miss tonight's Real Housewives of Auckland episode at 8.30 on Bravo. The ladies are heading off to Port Douglas. It is bound to be a good one.